guys welcome or welcome back to my channel on today's video we're going to be talking all about what I got Barrett for Easter in his Easter basket if you're new here my name is Hannah I'm a mom to a 19 month old baby boy he will be 20 months in April I've always been a very creative person so getting to put together baskets goodie bags anything like that that involves getting to be creative and thinking outside of the box really is up my alley so this was really fun for me to get to do. Before I get started though, I do want to say that it might look like a lot in the Easter basket, but I've been accumulating stuff over a period of time. I probably started buying for his Easter basket almost a month ago, but I usually do that so it's not one big lump sum all at once because I don't like having to foot a bunch of money into something all at once when I can just accumulate over a period of time. I did the same thing with Christmas. I bought, I started buying his Christmas in like November. I tried to find things for his Easter basket that were something he would enjoy, but also things that I knew wouldn't just be thrown to the side really quickly. He's never been one that really just played a lot with regular toys. Like if it was something he couldn't do, then he really didn't play with it that much. He was a very hands-on toddler, I guess you can say. First, I guess we will start off with the Easter basket itself. Yes, it's big, it's a very large size, but it was actually $10 at Dollar General. So I got the little name tag that I attached with his name on it. I got that from a store on Etsy and it was fairly cheap. I wanna think it was, I'll tell you how much it was. And anything I say, I'll also attach it in the description box below, even if it was something that I did not get on Amazon. I'm sure I can find it on Amazon or if it was somewhere like Etsy. I will attach it there as well. The name tag I got on Etsy and it was $11.39 shipped. You cannot beat that. So instead of having to pay $30 or $40 for a large basket, which is what I was seeing most of them running online with the little material that would have had his name on it, I simply bought a $10 basket at Dollar General $11 name tag shipped, but the name tag could be something you keep as well, just to remember your little baby growing up every Easter. Dollar General also had other basket options. They had some that were like solid purple and they had white balls going around the material part. Same thing for the boys, except it was solid blue with balls going around the material. They were like pom-pom balls. They also had the ones just like this. They had it with the white and the green checker. They had pink checker, and I wanna think they had blue checkered, and that was it. That was your only options with the checker and white. But, anyway. So we're gonna dig into the basket now. Like I said, anything you see in the basket, I'm gonna put it in the description box below. Please don't be afraid to ask questions. I will try to help as much as I can, so here we go. The first item I'm gonna show you is this Fisher-Price camera. I think this is the cutest thing Barrett is obsessed with my camera and if you are a vlogger you might have a toddler that does the same thing. Anytime he sees my camera out and about he tries to grab it, run away with it, etc. So I started looking into cameras for him and I thought this was the cutest little thing. <laughs> it even does a clicking noise. He can twist the little lens and it came with this pouch. It actually came in a larger size box, but I took everything out of the box to make it fit easier in the basket. But it also came with these little felt cards and they're actually supposed to be pictures that you can slide into the back part of the camera to make it look like he actually took a picture. My picture sideways, I guess, but anyway. I thought this was the cutest thing. I got this on Amazon. This was $20, but it did also come with a different lens that you could put on it. If you had a girl and it was a purple lens, I just chose the blue since Barrett's a boy. And it also came with this little bag that had other items to go along with it, like a little passport and stuff, but I just stuck it in here. So the next thing that I got for his Easter basket would have to be sandals. It is starting to get warmer here in Arkansas and all Barrett has been wearing so far are just his tennis shoes. So I purchased him some sandals from Walmart. We are balling on a budget here. We're not gonna break the bank. His feet are gonna grow probably by the end of summer. So I got him these that look like Birkenstocks, but they're not, they're just Walmart. And they, he actually had these last year and whenever he was 
what and walking yet. I just thought they were cute. But these were only $13 and I thought they were the cutest little shoes. I also got these from Walmart as well. We're going to the beach this summer so I thought these would be really cute. And since they have all different colors, two different color blues, the little lime green and red, I figured they would match a lot of outfits this summer. So, so every holiday I tend to get Barrett a book that goes along with that holiday. That way he will have a nice size library for himself. So for Easter this year, I bought him Happy Easter Pout Pout Fish. If you've never been to my channel before, I'm a teacher. I teach second grade, so Mr. Pout Pout Fish is really loved in my classroom. So when I saw this at our Walmart, I went ahead and had to get it, but I will link it below on Amazon as well. This is just a really funny story. Last year, I got him the Easter Bible story, and I also got him Peter Rabbit as well. The next thing in Barrett's Easter basket would be this chalk. It is actually in the shape of eggs. It comes in what looks like a little egg carton, but it was a dollar at Dollar General. Once again, falling on a budget. Speaking of outside, I also got Barrett some bubbles. These are just cheap little filler items that you can get at Walmart as well. Both of these I got from Walmart. This, and I wanna thank both of them, were only a dollar. This is a no spill bubble. Thing. It has the bubbles on the inside and it's got a slot right there and you can actually dip This thing inside it and it's supposed to make it not as I mean obviously if they turn it down like this They're gonna spill it, but it's supposed to be easier I also got this at Walmart just because it makes the big bubbles as well So the next thing in his Easter basket would be these Melissa and Doug magnets. I Got the animal version and they're pretty large as you can see in the box these were on sale for $8 when I bought them, and it even says for ages two and up. Baird is getting to where he likes ripping my magnets off of my fridge, so I have to keep them high. And even when I'm holding him walking out the door, because our fridge is right beside our front door, he'll try to snatch magnets off. So I got him these larger magnets that are gonna go around the bottom of the fridge where he can actually stand and play with them while I'm cooking and all that. Next up would be this Mess Free Blues Clues kit. I actually, just got this at Target yesterday before I plan to make this video. I thought I was going to be done with his Easter basket and then I saw this and was like, hmm, our Walmart didn't have this. Now Walmart does have the color mess free type stuff, but they didn't have like a kit like this with Blue's Clues. And Barrett is just now recently getting into Blue's Clues. He has always loved bubble guppies and that was the only thing he liked. I say always. He didn't even start watching TV until like Christmas, so... He's just now starting to watch a show other than Bubble Guppies, which is now Blue's Clues. So, I found this at Target and just thought I would get it for him. It comes with a special paper that's got the print on it and special markers where the only thing that it colors on is the paper. So you won't have markers on your tables, furniture, chairs, etc. Now the teacher in me just saw this and thought it'd be really cute to get. I bought him the Counting Bear Kit, and if you have a child that's in school, your child may have seen these in their classroom. Now in the kit that I purchased, it also comes with colored cups. I don't know if you, you can kind of see them right there. And it comes with some tongs, so you can actually pick up the bears and sort them into their colored cups. I got that because once again, Barrett is a very hands-on type of child. He likes doing things and not just sitting there, so I thought this would be a great way to work on his fine motor skills as well as learning his colors and all that jazz. The last toy that I put in Barrett's Easter basket would be this Dr. Kit. And I got this because he is getting into playing with stethoscopes. My grandma has one at her house and every time he goes over there, he grabs it, puts it in his ears and tries to play with it, which gave me the idea to get him his own doctor kit. I got this on Amazon. It was fairly cheap and I wanna think it went on sale not long ago. But you can open the little, you open the little box. It comes with a little shot, a little wooden thing of ointment, ointment, a little wooden thermometer. It's just a cute little play kit for them to play doctor. It's got all different kinds of little accessories, but it also comes with, which is the main reason I got it, his own stethoscope. How he even knows what it is, I have no idea, but he knows what it's for. All different kinds of things that's like doctor related. I just thought it was really cute. I wanna think this was $13. Like I said, a lot of stuff I got cheap, a lot of it was kind of expensive, but I purchased everything over a certain amount of time. So, 
I know that my mom is going to give him an Easter basket as well because she always does. So, I figured she'd be the one getting him more of the candy style stuff. So, the only candy I got him was just a little M&M Easter Bunny stick, I guess. I got this at Dollar General too when I went in there one day and I just went ahead and grabbed it before they ran out. But this is the only actual candy that I'm putting in the basket because I know he's going to get more when he's at his daycare party from my mom and from hunting Easter eggs. That is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some good ideas for your child's Easter basket. If you're new here, please hit subscribe. It would really help out my channel. And I just want to thank every one of my subscribers so far. I'm almost at 1,300 subscribers. And I'm so close to my first goal on YouTube. So I want to thank each and every one of my subscribers. I love you all. And I want to thank all of you for your support. If you have any questions at all, don't forget to ask them down below in the comment section. Everything is going to be linked in the description box and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful day